Good morning. Today is Wednesday the 21st of June. As many of you will be aware, today is the longest day of the year, the day in the year when we have the most sunlight. But did you also know that today is World Music Day and also Make Music Day? I don't know how you feel about music, but for me it's a really important part of my life. I didn't grow up in a very musical house, apart from my parents listening to ABBA in the car, but my mum and dad bought me a very cheap second-hand piano when I was about ten, so that I could have piano lessons and learn to play. One of my husband's dreams was to have a baby grand piano, so when we moved into our first manse we treated ourselves to one on which we would play duets together. Alas, we no longer have this due to a lack of space, but we have an upright instead, which we still play together. And as an adult, I learned to play the saxophone, which I can be persuaded to get out at times like Christmas. The musical tradition continued with our three boys, who all play musical instruments, and two of whom were in Barnsley Youth Choir. This has given all of them amazing opportunities, from playing on the stage at the Royal Albert Hall in the Youth Proms, to doing a mini UK band tour, to singing at the Fringe Festival in Edinburgh, and to competing on the, in the World Choir Games, the Olympics for choirs, and standing under the Union Jack as the national anthem played and they received gold medals. Music is such a powerful thing. It has the power to stir up memories as we associate a piece of music with a significant event. Only last week I was listening to an album by a band called Fat and Frantic. It immediately took me back to my teenage years and the concerts I used to go to with friends to see them play. And music can evoke such strong emotions. It can reduce us to tears. It can make us want to jump up and dance. It can stir up anger, or it can lift our mood. I wonder if you've heard the song, Make Your Own Kind of Music, originally written by Cass Elliot of Mamas and Papas fame, but covered by a whole variety of artists, more recently by Paloma Faith. It reminds us that we all have to make our own kind of music and to sing our own special song, even if no one else sings along with us. In life, we all have a song to sing, an important part to play, one that nobody else can fulfil. It can often feel that in playing that part, no one else is joining in, or that we are swimming against the tide or against populist opinion, but it is so important to continue singing and make our music heard. And whilst we all have our own music to play, I also like to think that we're all part of an orchestra or choir, each with a part to play. We might be one of the percussion section with lots of counting and waiting, but then we come in and have a big impact. Or we might be a first violin, who always seems to be playing and has the popular melody. But whoever we are, we have a principal conductor, God. Ultimately, he is at the helm, bringing all the different parts together to make a harmonious sound. But it is up to us to listen to others, as well as to keep our eyes firmly fixed on him, so that we keep time with the rest of the ensemble, in order to make a beautiful sound. Let us pray. Father God, we all have a part to play in your musical family. Help us to stay true to that part, to not be afraid to sing it, especially if we feel on our own, and to keep our eyes well and truly fixed on you as you guide us through life, helping us to make harmonious music with others. Amen.